Hi Capricorn, welcome to Body Tarot. This is going to be your reading for the month of April 2024, where I'll be taking a look at your energy, the energy around you, the advice for you and the potential outcome. So Capricorn, let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. So Capricorn, your overall energy for the month is the tower. Wow. Okay, I feel like, I feel like Capricorn, you're going to be, I feel like this is you that's going to bring in the tower because there could have been, uh, there could be external circumstances, people, things that are kind of triggering you at this moment with the tower where, you know, you might feel like, things are going the wrong way and it is only a matter of time till things kind of fall apart and over here we see Alice pulling the cloth from the table herself and I see the red queen here so Capricorn there might be somebody you have been dealing with or are dealing with who's been kind of getting on your nerves you know the story behind this tower is that you know, Alice is about to be, become queen in the looking glass world and the Red Queen keeps introducing her to the food and the food comes to life and Alice is not able to eat the food or enjoy the feast. So she, and this is in the the last bit of the story before she comes out of her, of her so-called dream state and uh, Alice pulls the cloth from the table, disrupting the feast. So, you know, Capricorn, there could be something around you where people around you are kind of building an energy of a celebration or a feast or a get together like something as though something is really great but Capricorn you realize that uh, there is something not okay in this situation something doesn't feel right and it's like the universe is you know giving you the strength to kind of pull the rug from beneath these people's feet um, this is your overall energy for the month a lot of change is happening I feel like it's you that's bringing in the changes after you're realizing something yourself uh, you're extending this change into your environment and the people around you let's look at the energy let's look at your energy first Capricorn what is Capricorn's energy for the month of April 2024 what is Capricorn's energy for the month of April 2024. Yeah, there's clarity that you're getting. So, you know, with this tower that is there in your overall energy, you're getting um, mental clarity. Uh, I'm being drawn to the pen here. So there could be something about you writing a letter or an email or a message, you know, that is connected to this tower that you're bringing in. But I feel like... Um, the pen is going to be the sword for you, for some of you. Uh, there is also, you know, some of you could be writing a book or, you know, anything. It's just a brand new idea and it's it's short. It's a short span. Uh, the aces are a short span and they need to be put to use uh, quickly to, exp to exploit the potential of it. So let's get more energies to see what's happening. For Capricorn, we have the Nine of Swords. So, you know, you're worried about what you are seeing. And Capricorn, you know, the Ace of Swords is the clarity. And the Nine of Swords is the fear. And it's like your, 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 this is like the gift and this is the curse. You know, I, I have heard, um, um, an audio, a lecture of Alan Watts where he talks about the cortex forming over the human brain and that becomes, uh, you know, you know, a, a gift and a curse because we are capable of um, realizing this is consciousness, understanding, um, 
just let me try and remember the message what what it was that Alan Watt says this is about having the clarity of consciousness where you know that you are a higher being and you know you are capable of doing things the right way because you have the tool the nine of swords is where we start to worry about whether we've done enough um you know whether we've done the right thing or not uh, is this going to be enough is this going to turn out the right way so i feel like capricorn you're experiencing the gift and the curse of consciousness together with the tower here which is a very big energy uh it's kind of it's kind of there is a swing between um clarity and doubt sorry it took so long for the message to come out uh we have the world so there is a cycle that you're closing off you know uh with the world here i see you achieving a milestone uh with the crown on your head uh with alice here um you know she's looking back at the journey where she's grown up so much because alice in wonderland is all about growing up and i feel like uh capricorn you're seeing how much you have grown through uh in this last cycle of your life that you have been through um there is a milestone that you're achieving and you are feeling good about yourself let's look at the energies that is around you what energies are around capricorn you could be dealing with a fire sign uh or someone with fire sign like qualities so this is somebody who is uh, you know very passionate and uh functions through will will power is very important to uh people that embody fire sign qualities uh there could be someone around you who is putting up a show you know the king of wands here is um a character uh from one of the poems that i think uh the caterpillar tells alice or alice tells the caterpillar but um this is somebody who's up to a lot of tricks i can put it that way let's get a little more energy on this person uh, who is this energy that capricorn is dealing with or this energy that is around capricorn tell us more about this energy so there is somebody that's trying to come back i feel like this this person uh, you know this person that embodies fire sign qualities is trying to come back to life with the judgment this is somebody that you have dealt with in the past what follows the judgment what follows the judgment the seven of swords or oh, sneaky sneaky uh capricorn you know this person could be up to some tricks there are some tricky energies around you let's just put it that way let's not pin it on this person there are some tricky energies in your life that are trying to come back yeah with the seven of swords um you know this person the seven of swords in the intentions of this person may not be clear to you that that's the story behind the seven of swords is the knave of hearts that's stealing the the queen of hearts uh, 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 tarts and you know in the end when there is a judgment and you know there is there's a court case there is everyone gets together the knave's intentions were uh, unknown by the end of the by the end of alice in wonderland so um there's somebody in your energy that is coming and is kind of sneaking around you or what is this person's why is this person sneaking around capricorn we have the six of pentacles there is some there is an imbalance in a relationship you know there are other energies that are also involved here with the six of pentacles we see the you know the march here you're trying to decide who they should give their energy to the mad hatter or the or alice so if this is a work situation you know there could be somebody that is kind of 
trying to you know determine de determine their loyalty towards you or somebody else um there could be uh, this could be even a personal uh, dynamic where there is somebody who is kind of bringing about an imbalance in your life uh, but they mean to bring about balance but maybe not you know there is there is there is definitely an imbalance that this energy is um uh, bringing into your life um so what is the advice for capricorn in dealing with this energy what is the advice for capricorn for dealing with this seven of swords energy what is the advice for capricorn for everything actually for the tower for the nine of swords the seven of swords and for the world everything what is the advice for capricorn we have the five of cups so capricorn you need to look forward to what is there and there are good things ahead not look back uh, you know or perhaps you're looking at you know what has been lost but there are brighter uh, prospects that awaits you in the future and um, or even now um, you know there is still um, hope in a situation do not be discouraged do not feel sad uh, you know chin up i want to say capricorn if your head is down chin up what is the advice for capricorn seven of swords yeah an eye for an eye you know if there are energies that are being sneaky around you then you ought to strategize yourself in dealing with these sneaky energies get away run away you know yeah king of swords just you know the advice here is capricorn get out of your emotions and deal with these people around you from your head from your rationale from your from your logical um um uh, space because emotions make us emotions can keep us tied down they are fluid your advice is to move from 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 you know you know look at all this liquid it's difficult to gather it's difficult to gather your emotions you need to gather your thoughts and move ahead and uh, um just make decisions that are good for you as the king of swords work from your intelligence uh um emotional intelligence included as well you know emotional intelligence um wow uh, let's get the potential outcome for you what is the potential outcome for my dear capricorns what is the potential outcome for my dear capricorns what is the potential outcome we have the four of cups so there is going to be a bit of sadness i won't lie to you uh you may not necessarily know why you're feeling sad because the story of the mock turtle is that the mock turtle just remembers that he used to be a real turtle but um throughout alice in wonderland it's 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 vague as to why the mock turtle is sad so capricorn you will be feeling a sense of um you might feel a potential outcome so this is not fixed but the energy is there for you to feel dissatisfied in some way but you may not even understand why this is happening um we'll get a better potential outcome things are going to look up it's going to turn up because you are closing off a cycle with the world from the sneaky energies that are there around you what is the potential outcome for capricorn strength so you know there is um you're showing great strength in the situation uh you might be questioning your identity at this time or even the people around you because over here alice is in a forest in a part of the woods where it's difficult to remember the names of things so something about your name uh uh you know or your identity our names are our identity you know we can call anything anything this is a card we can call this a box uh it's just semantics so there's something about you know there is something about your identity 
the identity of the people around you where you're trying to figure out who it is who are you who are you you know and uh, i also see you tapping into the collective strength as in where you see yourself as a part of the collective you're you're going through a tough time and you understand capricorn that you're not you are not alone that you are with with the collective you are not letting your ego come in the way uh while you're going through this experience the ego is that which makes us feel lonely that which makes us feel separate that which makes us feel different and you know capricorn we have in the potential outcome where you're realizing that you are a part of the collective and your identity um the identity may not be as significant as we imagine it to be let's get a third card for the potential outcome for capricorn we have the hermit that's you going into a journey of the self where you are going to assess your belief systems what works for you what doesn't work for you you're going to discard that which is not serving you anymore uh there could be someone you're saying goodbye to or a certain part of yourself that you're saying goodbye to certain people that you're saying goodbye to and um you're focusing on inner work with the hermit looking into matters looking into things looking into energies that have been in your life before you can move forward into the next phase of your life um so capricorn this is what i have for you if you're still watching thank you for your patience thank you for your likes shares and subscribes and i will catch you again soon later bye